I'm Mackie product specialist Brendan Brown. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how simple it is to use the powerful DSP and Intune system tools in the DL32R to set up and dial in monitor mixes for both stage wedges and in-ear mixes. And like everything else, we're going to do this completely wireless. So let's get started. Okay, picking up right where we left off, having dialed in our channel gain and EQ for all of our inputs. Remember, since we're 100% wireless, all of this can be done from any iOS device, even on stage by a band member. But since I'm all by myself, I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out before they get here. For this setup, I have two stage wedges downstage, left and right, a lead vocal stereo in-ear monitor system, a mono bass player IEM system, and a drum wedge. First thing we're gonna do is make sure that all of our inputs are muted. I'm using a mute group that I built to take care of that. All mute groups can follow front of house or become their own separate aux mute. Next, in order to keep ourselves organized, we're going to go ahead and name and color code our mixes, as well as link mixes three and four for our stereo in-ear mix. Linking these auxes allows you to combine both left and right EQs, limiting and delay into a single control. Next, it's time to go ahead and bring out our wedges downstage. I use the four band parametric EQ to isolate treble frequencies. Hey, hey, one, two, one, two, hey, hey, one, two, hey, hey, one, two, one, two, 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 hey, hey. Then in the wedges, I go ahead and fine tune them with the 31 band graphic EQ available on every output. One, two, hey. We'll do the same thing for our drum mix. To help dial in the singer and the bass players in ear mixes, monitor outs one and two on the DL32R can also be used for setups with both front of house and monitor engineers. Now, although I'm not going to use any output EQ on these mixes, I will set the output limiters to protect both artists' hearing. All that needs to be done now is to go ahead and send the needed channels to the appropriate mix, ballparking it until the band comes up and plays to finalize the show's monitor mixes. Thanks for checking out this video on setting up your monitor mixes, and remember to check out all my hands-on DL32R videos right here at Mackie.com.